Good day, learners! You have learned in the previous lesson, when rocks are broken down into pieces, it does not stay in one place. Some rock fragments become part of the soil. Others are transferred from one place to another, which is called erosion. Materials that are transported due to erosion are called sediments. Erosion of rock fragments contributes to the soil formation as well as the formation of landforms. Soil erosion does not only shape Earth's landforms. It also affects the ecosystem, especially if it happens unexpectedly. This time, you will learn about the weather disturbances. The Philippines experiences an average of 20 typhoons a year. The biggest contributor of the weather disturbances in our country is the Pacific Ocean which lies on the eastern part of the country. The typhoon is just one of the many weather disturbances we experience. Look at the sky. Can you tell what the weather is? Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a short period of time. The different factors that affect weather include air temperature, air pressure, humidity, clouds, precipitation, and wind speed and direction. When these factors change and affect the condition of the atmosphere, weather disturbances occur. Weather disturbances refer to any disruption of the atmosphere's stable condition. It can manifest through the formation of low-pressure area or different prevailing winds like monsoon and the intertropical convergence zone or the IPCZ. Low-pressure area or LPA and high-pressure area. This refers to the weight of air that is pressing down on Earth. An abrupt change in air pressure can trigger weather disturbances. When cold air sinks, it results to high pressure area. Since most of the air is pressing down, the air on the surface becomes dry. But when air rises, less air presses downward resulting to the formation of low-pressure area. An LPA can result to weather disturbances such as rains and strong winds. In a cyclone, the cool air flows to take the place of the rising warm air. As a result, the air guard spins. The wind spirals around the center of the cyclone. This center is called the eye. When a cyclone is formed over the tropics, it is called a tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclones that occur within the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR develop in two areas. These areas are in the Pacific Ocean and in the West Philippine Sea. The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or the PAGASA keeps track of cyclones that enter the PAR. We come now to the classification of cyclone according to strength of wind. First, we have tropical disturbance. It is an isolated weather system with an apparent circulation. It is characterized by a poorly developed wind circulation. This is commonly observed throughout the wet tropics and subtropics.
tropical depression. It is a weak low pressure disturbance with a definite surface circulation. A tropical depression has a maximum wind speed of up to 61 km per hour. It is most common in the equatorial region or the intertropical convergent zone. Tropical Storm Once a tropical depression has intensified, it becomes a tropical storm. A tropical storm is a moderate tropical cyclone with maximum wind speed of 62 to 88 km per hour. It is more organized and more circular in shape. The rotation of tropical storm is more recognizable than that of a tropical depression. Last classification of cyclone is Typhoon. It is an intense weather disturbance having more or less a circular shape and with an average size of about 500 kilometers in diameter. The wind blows toward the center, called the eye. Tropical cyclones are identified based on the speed of the circulating winds. If the speed of the wind is 60 km per hour or less, it is known as depression. If the speed becomes 60 to 118, it is known as storm. And if the speed is more than 118, it is called a typhoon. Let's move to changes of weather before, during, and after a typhoon. Before the typhoon. Before a typhoon occurs, high clouds are observed in the sky. The air is dry and cold since most of the warm air has already risen. The relative humidity is high. The wind blows gently and scattered rain showers may occur. During the Typhoon During a typhoon, the sky is dark and cloudy. Heavy rainfall accompanied by strong winds occurs. Big waves are also observed near the coast. When these waves become unusually high due to abnormally high ocean tides, a storm surge occurs. Flash floods may also occur due to heavy rainfall. Landslides may be triggered by flash floods and heavy rains. Some trees and crops may be uprooted of strong winds. After the Typhoon After a typhoon, the sun becomes visible and the sky becomes clearer. There might be scattered rain showers. Rescue and relief operations are also ongoing. There might be an outbreak of waterborne diseases, influenza, and dengue. Some areas may still be flooded and recovering from the typhoon. If a certain place is severely devastated, many residents are staying in the evacuation areas. Public Storm Warning Signals or PSWS In order to determine the strength of typhoon, the Pagasa issues public storm warning signals. The following shows the strength of typhoon entering the PAR as well as the impact of the winds. PSWS number 1 Winds moving at a speed of 30 to 60 km per hour 
may be expected in at least 36 hours or irregular rains may be expected within 36 hours. When the tropical cyclone develops very close to the locality, a shorter lead time of the occurrence of the winds will be specified in the warning bulletin. Unless this warning signal is upgraded during the entire existence of the tropical cyclone, only very light or no damage at all may be sustained of the exposed communities. PSWS number 2 Winds moving at a speed of 61 to 120 km per hour may be expected in at least 24 hours. In general, the wind may bring light to moderate damage to the affected communities. PSWS number 3 Winds moving at a speed of 121 to 170 km per hour may be expected of at least 18 hours. In general, moderate to heavy damage may be experienced particularly in the agricultural and industrial sectors. PSWS number 4 Winds moving at a speed of 171 to 220 km per hour may be expected in at least 12 hours. With PSWS number 2, the locality is very likely to hit directly by the eye of the typhoon. As the eye of the typhoon approaches, the weather will continuously worsen with the winds increasing to its strongest coming generally from the north. And PSWS number 5 Winds moving at a speed of 220 km per hour or above may be expected in at least 12 hours. Winds would bring widespread damage to high-risk structures. Recap Classification of cyclone according to strength of wind Tropical disturbance It is an isolated weather system with an apparent circulation While tropical depression is a weak load pressure disturbance with a definite surface circulation Tropical storm Once a tropical depression has intensified, it becomes a tropical storm and Typhoon, it is an intense weather disturbance with an average size of about 500 km in diameter. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.